So what would you say, you know, if you were advising a fund that is having issues with um, a lack of diversity in the incoming deal flow, what's, what are some of the things that you feel like they could start doing differently? So, I mean, I think that some, um, some of the larger funds have started to take baby steps through venture partners like Lightspeed, uh, where they have found diverse, uh, you know, sort of given them a small checkbook and said, you know, diverse uh, investors here, go out, find me more diverse deals. So I think that's a step in the right direction. I do think that, again, there are so few women, there are so few diverse investors. I do think that naturally that changes the dynamic just because our networks are what our networks mm -hmm. are. I also agree with you on just being deliberate. Um, there are fantastic organizations that are really focusing on diverse founders. So whether it's, you know, Transact, I'm part of this women in VC organization that is like phenomenal. Uh, VC Familia, Latinx VC, Black VC, like all the uh, Latinas in tech, like there are these organizations. And I think um, it's supporting these organizations and getting, you know, but, but make it genuine. I think, you know, it's interesting because again, I come from the marketing world. And what I will tell you, you know, people always ask me like this, does cause marketing work, right? Like you want to attach yourself to certain, it has to be authentic and it has to be a long-term relationship. If mm -hmm. all you're doing is sort of coming in and writing a small check for one event, eh, like your outcome is going to be, eh, right? Mm -hmm. If you really do build those long-term relationships with these organizations, if you really support them, if you really are sort of supporting those founders, that's where the magic happens. Um, so I think it does take, it does take work. That, that's the reality. But, you know, good deal flow takes work everywhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. 